Hey there, it's Rick Khan, and in this video, I'm going to show you a new strategy to test audiences on Facebook ads that I've personally been using to find high converting targeting options. Now, this uses a testing method that involves open targeting and using the correct budget to optimize this test for. So specifically in this video, we're going to go through open targeting control strategy, interest testing analysis, and then what to do with the winning audiences. Now, before jumping into it, there is something you might need to know first, because the truth is, there is no right or wrong way with targeting. And the key is about finding and discovering what works best for you and your business. And you can only do that by getting your hands dirty and finding what works. But this strategy, it is one that you can use if you're looking for a new high converting audience to target or you could be struggling with your current strategy. So with all this said, before you can do this audience testing, you first need to know what budget you'll be working with. And as a guideline, here's what I recommend you do for testing, which is if you have a budget between $800 to $1,500, then using an ad set of daily budget will be $5 with around four to seven ad sets. If it's $1,500 to $10,000, then you'll use $10 per ad set with at least 15 to 20 ad sets. Or if it's $10,000 to $20,000, then you'll use $15 to $20 per ad set with at least 25 to 30 ad sets. And finally, if your budget is above $20,000 or more, then you'll use a daily budget of $25 to $30. And with the ad set, you just wanna go with whatever Facebook ad limits is. So once you have the budget down, then you wanna make sure that you optimize for the right campaign. Now, I do have a video going through this more, which I'll link below. But when choosing the right campaign for your ads, you always stick with the outcome in mind. So let's say if you wanna lead, you just pick the lead objective. If you want sales, then choose the conversion sales objective because the Facebook's algorithm is super smart and it will find the best person for the objective you select. So let it do its job. And here's a quick thing to mention. Since you're gonna separate the ad sets for separate data testing, you want to select ad set budget optimization over campaign budget optimization. This is just so you can have full control over each ad set. But once you know the right campaign objective for you, then you're gonna start with an ad set that will be the control. Now, this control will be what you will be comparing all the other ad sets that you'll choose from. Because basically, in order to know how good an ad set is, you need to compare it. And it's especially true if you don't have much data. So for this control ad set, I recommend you use open targeting because here's the thing with this. Open targeting, it usually performs a lot different from other types of targeting because with nothing selected in the detailed targeting or custom audience, at first Facebook, it'll need a bunch of figuring out to do. And if you want short term results, then usually open targeting might not deliver quickly. So it could take longer to drive results, even maybe past seven days. But in all honesty, this isn't how you should look at Facebook marketing. You should always aim for long term results over short term because that should be your goal as an advertiser. But with that said, the good thing is the more the algorithm is unrestricted, it learns and begins to understand your audience more and the open targeting has the largest room for scale that can run for a very long time. Now, I say you leave it open, but there are some options in the detailed targeting you do control, such as location targeting, where you can either spread the countries out if you sell your products or services internationally, and you can test each country to find which works best, or you could just do what I simply do, which is bunch them all in. Then for age, if you don't know this, Again, I just suggest leave it all alone. Or if you have enough data and you know exactly your demographics, then you can enter it. Then again, with genders, if you're primary selling to females or males, just select whichever preference is best. However, if you do leave it all open, this can lower the cost of your ad. But once you have all of this information down and you put in your ad and you're creative, then you can publish that ad set and now duplicate it and start finding the interest data for this audience. Now, depending on your niche, 
interests are going to be different for everyone, where I do have a full video about finding and choosing interests in the description below. But what you're going to do is select the interest that best suits your niche. Do them individually, duplicate them out and separate each interest and leave everything else as it is. Do not touch anything except changing at the interest level. Now, I always advocate that you should always stack your interest post iOS, where I do talk more about this on the description below, and it is still very true today. You shouldn't really do the old ways of advertising and separate out your interest targeting because of multiple reasons, such as going too specific and small with your audience doesn't work well with Facebook's machine learning as it restricts it. But with that said, this is different because in the testing phase, you're trying to learn what works best so you can find enough data to create the best performing audiences. One of the top ways to stack your interests is to stack with the best interests where you know they convert and then scale that. I mean, logically, having a stack of audiences that convert are going to have a lot more weight over some random interests that you don't know how well they'll truly perform. But with that said, once you select your interest, hit publish, and repeat the process until you have the right amount of interest spread across your budget. And then once you've done all of this, let the ads run for at least seven days or at least two times your CPA. Please don't be tempted to go into your ad account and keep checking the results. Doing this is reactive marketing that's controlled by your emotions. And this will hinder the results you could potentially get. Be patient and wait. As a rule, I always say, if you have a complete new funnel you're testing, be prepared to lose just a bit of money at the beginning. With that said, once you let this run long enough for data about your interest, now you can take all the winning interests, create a CBO campaign and stack the winners. This stacking you've just done has now put your best audiences that you know will convert giving Facebook the edge with this algorithm to convert better than it would with random interests. But with that, what if you knew the best interest to test in the shortest time possible without spending money to find out? Well, this video shows you how to find your competitor's interests. And if you could let me know if this video was useful, then leave a thumbs up and I'll do more in-depth targeting tutorials. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.